we introduced a few types of tropic movements in our previous tutorial. Join me as we venture to learn the others. Let's start with hydrotropism. The movement or the growth of a plant in relation to the stimulus of water is called hydrotropism. In this type of movement, roots show the positive hydrotropic response as they move and grow towards the water. On the other hand, if the plant parts move away from the water stimulus, for example the shoots, it is called negative hydrotropism. Some plants like the pea plant climb up other plants or fences by means of tendrils which are sensitive to touch. When they come in contact with an object which could provide support, the part of the tendril in contact with the object does not grow as rapidly as the part of the tendril away from the object. This causes the tendril to circle around the object and thus cling to it. This growing or developing movements made through plants in response to contact with a solid object are called thigmotropism. The growth of the tendril is an example of positive thigmotropism. Whereas when an elongating root comes in contact with an object, example rock, it shows negative thigmotropism as it grows away from the object. When pollen grains settle on the stigma, it grows the pollen tube. This pollen tube grows down the style towards the ovule during fertilization. This growth of a plant part in response to certain chemical stimulus is known as chemotropism and the growth of the pollen tube is an example of positive chemotropism. We know that plants need sunlight, water, oxygen, minerals for their growth and development. These are external factors. Apart from these, there are some intrinsic factors that regulate the growth and development of plants. These are called plant hormones. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the world of plant hormones in our next tutorial.